Let's factor the equation x squared minus 8x minus 9 equals 0. The first thing we do is we'll set up a skeleton equation. This is our skeleton equation here. Then we want to look at the signs. So we have a negative and a negative. If the middle term and the last term is negative, we're going to put a positive and negative in our skeleton equation, like this here. Then we can find the factors for that last term, the 9, and they should add up to the middle term, the 8. So if we write the factors for 9, we have 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. And I can see the difference between 1 and 9, that's 8. So why don't I put a negative 9 here, since I have a negative 8 up here, and then the positive 1. 1 and negative 9, and that would equal negative 8. But let's check our work with the FOIL method. We'll multiply the first, the outside, the inside, and then the last terms. And we get, and we can simplify this here, negative 9x and x, that's negative 8x. So then we get, and x squared minus 8x minus 9, that's what we started with. So we factored this equation correctly. Let's take a moment and find the values for x here that will make this whole side of the equation 0. So we have 0 equals 0, a true statement. So we could say x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 from each side, we get x equals negative 1. Over here, x minus 9 equals 0. Add 9 to both sides, x equals 9. If you put negative 1 in for x, you do the math, this whole side will equal 0. Likewise, if you put 9 in for x, you do the math, it'll equal zero as well. So these are correct. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll get these same values. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 8x minus 9 equals zero. Thanks for watching.